We have done it again. Yes, we have another great tactic. This time it is a 4-2-3-1 where we did the whole season invincible, unbeatable. We didn't lose a game, but more intriguingly, we had over 60% of the ball and we also completed the most passes as well. This video is also sponsored by Pouch where we have something very interesting to show you a little bit later on. So in this video, first, we're going to have a look at the results. We're going to build a tactic and then we're going to play two games. Two games, one with PSV because this is actually a Roger Smith recreation. But also we tested it out at Sporting as well just to see some nice football, I guess. But let's get stuck into this video. Let's get stuck in. <laughs> A Roger Smith at PSV tactic has been requested time and time again. I mean, some of you have even come over on Twitch and requested it in the chat as well. So I know some of you are interested and I'm happy I possibly delivered one of the best possession tactics for you guys as well. It's a 4 2 3 1, and what we're going to do is look at the results first, look at the results that we achieved at PSV. Also, half a season at Sporting as well, just to try it out at a different team. And if you are enjoying this type of content, don't forget to hit subscribe, like this video, leave a comment. You can share it as well. All of that will help this channel grow. But also, you can follow us on Twitch where we are currently rebuilding Arsenal and actually talking about arsenal this video is sponsored by pouch and pouch is a free desktop browser extension that automatically finds and applies discount codes when you are shopping online and did i use pouch of course i used pouch of course come over here so over here i've actually already opened it myself as well so over here we do have this year's arsenal kit which i bought on adidas using pouch so before we talk about it a little bit more Let's have a look at this beautiful Arsenal top. Come on, you Gunners. I was shopping on the Adidas site looking for an Arsenal shirt. Well, of course, I'm a Gooner. What else would I be doing? And when I got to the checkout, Pouch automatically popped up and found me a discount code and applied it, saving me £30. So 30% of this Arsenal top because it was £100. I know my maths. <laughs> And Pouch doesn't just work on the Adidas website, of course not. Pouch works on over 3,000 UK sites and that includes Adidas, like this shirt right here, Nike and also New Balance as well, which might spark some of your interests. And even if there are no live codes at the time you are shopping, don't worry. Don't worry, you can still earn points at participating retailers, which can be redeemed for gift cards. And the retailers include Superdry, Game, Foot Locker, and more. Pouch only takes a couple clicks to install, quite literally. It's like, <laughs> so make sure you pin it to your browser and go and get Pouch for free right now by clicking on the link on the top of the description. I mean, it's completely free. You guys have no excuse, but also you will be helping this channel out a lot, massively. So thank you in advance and let's get stuck in to this 4231 created by, well, myself with help from Roger Smith. <laughs> So welcome back people and of course, come on, I had to put the shirt on, you know I had to. <laughs> I put my Arsenal shirt on, now we can get stuck into the results that we got at PSV and of course you can see us currently sitting on top of the era, the Vise. So let's go to the schedule and all the competitions, as you can see we're on top of the era, the Vise in the Champions League. I mean, we didn't get too far, but we did get into the Europa Cup and we got knocked out in the second round by the Hammers in a game which we dominated. I'm not sure how we got knocked out. In the Dutch Cup, we did win that and the Johan Cruyff Schau, we were the runners up. I'm, I believe I pronounced that right. I know I probably butchered that. So let's look at some of the most intriguing stats here. You can see that we scored the most goals. We had the most shots for, the fewest shots against, but most interestingly, we do have the best pass completion in the Eredivisie with 92% but we also have the highest average possession not just that if we go into the stats in a tiny teeny little bit more detail for the passes completed you can see we completed 26,755 passes which means we completed the most passes in the 
league we had the highest goals per game as well cross completion ratio goals from corners we scored eight i had scored nine so you know that we didn't abuse the set piece routine whatsoever chances created as psv shots four we already spoke about that shots on target ratio we do drop down to eighth possibly we could do a tiny teeny little bit better there conversion rate though we are third i mean fouls against as well we were fouled a lot so going back to the team overview you can see that we had the second most clean sheets as well joint top with Feyenoord even and for the fewest conceded we topped that with 22. for the most goals in the league carlos vinicius he's got 25 goals in 29 starts most assists we have philip max zahavi maduke i believe his name is and carlos vinicius in there as well i mean he's got the top goal scorer and he's also got nine assists as well for the most shots for none of our players in the top three but we do have vinicius noni and gapo in that list most man of the match awards carlos vinicius key passes philip max which is going to be another interesting thing once we look at the tactic because philip max the left back he should be heavily involved in play for the best pass completions we have both of our center backs in the top three most tackles won nobody's there most dribbles made nobody there so it was a team effort rather than an individual effort for the most clean sheets we have joel drummel joint top again with the Feyenoord keeper and for the fewest conceded it is drummel with 22 in second place or no not at top but he only played 20 games so it's a bit of a cheat bit of a cheat moving over to the data hub you can see the pass map as well from the most recent game you can see a clear 4 2 3 one shape taken part here well in possession it's more of a 2 4 four or a two four one three is what we kind of get in possession looking at the passing we made a lot of passes we were accurate as well i mean this is all good stuff all eye catching for a possession based team looking at the possession as well we frequently won the ball but we were also reliable in possession that's what we're looking at possession loss per game which we lost the possession the least in the league looking at the movement lots of dribbles again reliable in possession for the goal output high quality shooting strong defending looking at the attacking efficiency aggressive and clinical shooting now moving over to the xg table the xg is only at 79.2 but we did overperform by 10 looking at the expected goals against defensively we were kind of solid i mean we were expected to concede around 22 goals which is what we did and for the expected point it's around 77.6 but we overperformed by 16 now lastly looking at the squad the top goal scorers vinicius 31 in all competitions noni with 21 Cody Gakpo with 15 and Zahavi with 10. Looking at the assists, Philip Max with 14, Vinicius with 12 in all comps, Zahavi with 11, Noni with 11, Cody Gakpo with 10, and then we have Philip Mwene with 10 as well. Of course, what I need to show you is us doing the unbeaten season where we played 34, we won 30, we drew 4, and we lost no games at all, scoring 90 goals. So if we go to the schedule as well, we can filter this out. Let me do this quickly. Error the visa. And then you can see here, look, just wins, wins, wins. Everything is wins. Now we can look at the most important games like Ajax going away to Ajax where we won 3-2. We also beat them at home 6-1. I believe Feyenoord is the other good team in this league. AZ as well, Alkmaar. We beat them 1-0 away. We beat Feyenoord 3-1 at home. How did we do against Feyenoord away from home? 1-1. One, one. That was the most recent game or a more recent game as well. Well, you can see we did kind of top the possession with 54%. But if you do want to look at the possession and some of the possession numbers that we get in the game, then you can see here, FC20 away from home. We beat them 4-0. It was fairly comfortable. We created some decent chances as well. XG 2.40. But look at the possession. 61% of the ball completed. 800 and 29 passes now we can look at another game here we played our key our key our kc again 64 percent 811 passes completed the cup final we played volendam i believe they're in the second division anyway 67 percent in that game what was the game after that camber 4-2 away from home 72 percent of the ball away from home where we completed 1104 i mean that that deserves a clap 1142 passes completed absolutely fantastic so let's move over to the tactic how we created it why we created it and basically the science behind it <laughs> So now, when it comes to the tactic, like I said, this is heavily influenced. It's basically a recreation of the current PSV manager right now and what he uses, as you can see on the screen as well. He prefers to use a 4-2-3-1, which he has used for the most part of the season. 
And one thing that Roger Smith has done well during his time at PSV is utilizing attacking rotations during the build-up phase. These rotations are able to strongly benefit PSV when they are in possession and building out, as it means there's always a free passing option. In the Eredivisie so far, PSV have the highest passing rate in the division. This image shows a great example of these attacking rotations that PSV use during attacking build-up phases. The fullback, Philip Max, which is going to be hugely important in our attack as well is in possession in the mid third of the pitch at the moment the only passing option forward is joey vermin but he's being marked by two fortuna players the fullback and one of the central midfielders to create the space for a passing option vermin makes a run behind the opposition fullback this allows the harvey to drop into the pocket of space in midfield and as a result become a passing option for Max. Roger Smith wants his fullbacks to get further forward and to be heavily involved in the attacking third. While attacking rotations help PSV move the ball forward into the attacking third, once they get there, the roles of the two fullbacks become crucial to chance creation. So, that there is a quick summary, just a quick, just a quick wrap up of PSV in possession. So, we're going to try and implement what we just spoke about right away into this tactic. One thing's for certain, the fullbacks need to get further forward. Philip Max, for me, is one of the more creative fullbacks or the creative fullback in this side. They both like to get further forward. They both like to be involved. But for me, Philip Max is kind of the standout. And for Philip Max, what we're going to go with is complete wingback. Someone that kind of has that freedom to get further forward. He can make underlapping runs, but he can also make overlapping runs. But just to help the fullbacks get further ahead, we're actually going to add the overlap on the left and overlap overlap on the right and this should help these fullbacks advance so at left back we're just going to have a complete wing back on support and at right back we're actually just going to keep the fullback on support one of the reasons that i'm not using a wing back i find personally the wing back is kind of an individual player where you look to get the ball and you look to run wide with the ball but with our fullbacks we don't necessarily want them just to stick to running out wide if there's an opportunity to go wide with the ball then you can go wide if the opportunity is to come inside with the ball then come inside we don't necessarily want to keep these wing backs just running wide with the ball stretching plays and putting balls into the box because we might actually moving away from the possession base another thing that we know for certain as well is that psv like to play out from the back but we also want to build up slowly to allow these attacking rotations i mean to be in full flow if we play at a quick tempo getting the ball from back to front fairly quickly which is what psv don't do because as we said in the brief analysis they do have the highest passing rate so they do like to control the ball there is a method behind it so we are going to be playing out from the back but also with the tempo we're just going to drop this down to lower for the player roles in defense we're just going to add a ball playing defender as the left side of center back so now we have that kind of mix of a ball playing defender and that standard central defender both of whom have to be comfortable in possession so we are going to be playing out from the back the passing directness you can kind of well we actually have to shift the mentality to positive but for the passing direct directness you can keep it on slightly shorter this all depends on you now if you are managing in a better league so i tested this in the area of but also in i was just about to say <laughs> the netherlands but also in the portuguese top tier as well where passing directness you could just leave it on shorter where you're just racking up passes after passes after passes keeping possession you might not necessarily have like 30 shots per game but you will create a lot of chances and you will have a lot of the ball or if you are in a league where the tempo is kind of quicker you might want to adapt more of a direct passing where it's not necessarily direct but you are now moving from shorter to slightly shorter so now you are kind of increasing that tendency to play the more direct ball when it is on so in possession this is what we're kind of looking like at the moment and the last thing that we are going to do in possession for this tactic here in the final third we are going to be sending in low crosses and we are also going to work the ball into the box now in transition when the possession has been lost we are a heavy possession base side and in order to be in possession you must have the ball and if you're not on the ball you must win the ball to be on the ball so when the possession has been lost we are going to counter press when the possession has been won as well especially in those attacking third areas we want to apply a counter attacking method lastly when the goalkeeper has the ball he is going to roll it out but for the away tactic or the more counter attacking 
conversion when you are playing against the bigger sides especially away from home you will distribute the ball to the fullbacks and throw it long and yes just in case i haven't mentioned it already this does come with two versions lastly now for out of possession we may have to speak a little again about the real tactic in real life PSV this season have a PPDA which is passes per defensive action of 9.38 which ranks 6th in the Eredivisie. The pressing system of PSV differs slightly from other sides with Roger Smith utilising a pressing system of multiple players swarming the opposition player in possession which is why I added counter press. This high pressing aggressive system looks to win back possession as soon as possible as well as being able to mark any options for the player in possession to pass to if he were to escape the press. So now we have an idea of how aggressive PSV can be in a game especially against teams where they are favorites and against teams where they might not be the favorites or the opponents might have some very good technical players they may also operate in kind of a high to mid block so out of possession we are going to be very aggressive so we are going to operate with a much higher line of engagement a higher defensive line the offside trap is going to be set the defensive width we are going to force the opposition on the outside we are going to be using tighter marking explained in the brief analysis the trigger press is set to more often we are going to prevent that short goalkeeper distribution and we are also going to get stuck in so that there wraps up this team's instructions now it's time for the player roles and their instructions So for the goalkeeper in goal, we're just going to go for the sweeper keeper on the fence. And we've actually done the player roles for the back line already. But for the player instructions for the complete wing back, we want him to cross from the byline. So we don't want him to be crossing from deep, wasting any good scoring opportunities. We want him to get to the byline. And of course, he can do one of those pullbacks with the low crossing. For the two centre backs, we are going to be asking them to stay wider. This should just help us when we are building out from the back, always making a passing option option or always have that passing option available and for the right back when we are in possession of the ball I do want him to be sitting a little bit more narrow as the complete wing back on the left he's going to be stretching play and staying wide but also we do want him for similar reasons as the complete wing back to be crossing from the byline now in central midfield we are going to be operating with a deep line playmaker on the support of duty and his midfield partner is going to be a ball winning midfielder but on the fence and now we should kind of have this nice double pivot so when we are attacking with both wing backs or both full backs advancing once they get further up and with those four attacking players focusing on those attacking rotations all roaming about these central midfielders need to maintain their position and act as a double pivot and also this gives us a nice rest defense so we aren't caught on that break easily and for the player instructions we're actually going to ask the deep line playmaker to press more often i just feel the deep line playmaker stood off far too often and the parts and directness is going to be on shorter and for the ball winning midfielder the only instruction he will have is pass it shorter now we can move forward into that attack line now one thing is going to be important all of these players need to be roaming from their position they need to all be moving about they all need to rotate with each other as well so we're gonna have a nice mix i was gonna say a nice mix of supportive and attacking duties but we don't actually on the left hand side we are going to be using an inverted winger on support he's instructed to sit more narrow he's also going to be roaming from his position and he's just going to be taking more risk as well helping us create some chances the attacking midfielder number 10 he's going to be the trek artista where naturally he's just going to be roaming from his position anyway and he's going to be dragging defenders moving into the channels allowing or opening some passing spaces so players can move into the spaces and beat that passing option on the right hand side we are going to be using an inverted winger on attack now he's instructed of course to roam from his position and he's also going to be taking more risks as well lastly up top we went for a pressing forward and i actually felt he worked very well for pressing very very well he helped us a lot whenever i tried to go for a different role i just felt it wasn't effective enough and for the person forward he doesn't literally just stay on a defensive line and just stay there again he does like to come deep or just be involved in play as well he does like to be involved in play and when you're looking at your pass map you can see how well he is connected with the other players in the team as well and that there that there effectively wraps up the tactic We've covered the in possession, we've covered the player roles, we've covered everything in transition, out of possession as well. But we do have an away tactic as well, which you can see right 
now the difference is the left back is no longer a complete wing back on support he's now a full back on attack kind of similar to complete wing back but now he just doesn't have that complete freedom and he's not roaming about from his position as well what other changes so in possession you can see the tempo now is on slightly higher we're no longer playing out from the defense we're still in positive but if we need to clear the ball we need to clear the ball away from home and out of possession as well so now we're operating with a higher line of engagement rather than a much higher and now the defensive line is on standard rather than higher but that there wraps up the two tactics as you can see the completed versions this is the way version this is the home version identical to the one that we just completed or just created for you guys and there we are now it's time to play a game let's get stuck into a game shall we enough talking So, this is the team that we're going to go with. Now, I'm not exactly sure we should be starting Mario Götze. Should I just put Zahavi in just in case? Because Götze is still recovering from a long-term injury. So, let's get stuck into this game. Oh, we are also playing Ajax as well. I might have forgotten to mention that. Might have forgotten to mention that. Let's get stuck into this game. So, I should do my team talk. I think the team talk's all wrapped up. Let's get stuck in. Come on, boys. Let's perform today. Tagle Fico with a yellow card already in two. Oh, we've got a yellow card as well. First 15 minutes, no highlights, but here comes one. Noni, his Mwene whips it in. Cody Gapo. Oh, it's one nil. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how that's gone in, to be honest, but there will be a replay. It's 1-0 to BSV. We've started this game well. I mean, we are seeing more of the ball already, kind of, but we aren't. We don't have a better pass completion rate. The original shot was blocked. I mean, the keeper could have claimed that, but it's fell to Cody Gakpo, and it is 1-0 already to PSV. We can see here as well, Philip Max having a good game already on a 7.1. Here comes another highlight, Philip Max, Cody Gakpo, Van Ginkel. No one even, oh, head over, head over. Didn't want to butcher his name. <laughs> so I just left it at Noni. Here's Alvarez. Klaassen now. Tadic. Good tackle at the halfway line by Andre Romalo. He finds Gakpo. Max, here comes the slow build up now. Andre Van Ginkel. He finds Noni out on the right. Vermin. Noni comes inside. Hard and low. Pede! Daily Blip might get sent off here as well. That was nice build up from PSV there. And it looks like Daily Blint is going to get sent off in the first half. Yeah, penalties awarded. This could be a second yellow for Blint. Oh, is he going to escape? He escapes the second yellow. He's just escaped a second yellow. And there's Vinicius. It's 2-0 to the PSV. I can't believe he's escaped the second yellow there. He just tucks it away confidently. Half time. And what you can do now, because we were playing Ajax, so we did have the slightly shorter passing as well. Now we can go for shorter as well. Try and gain some possession. And we should have keep an eye out on this possession number here. 52% at the moment. 90% passes completed though. Slightly better than Ajax. Here's Philip Max on a free kick. Oh, just over the bar. So you can see this number has increased already to 53%. Here's Andre Romalo now. Teze, who's playing centre back, funny enough. He's a right back. Andre Romalo plays it out to Max. He finds Gapo. Philip Max. Van Ginkel. Max. Gapo. Matt, this is slow build up. It's going to be a slow build up, boys. Zahavi. Vinicius. There's the link up. Noni. Freeing up that passing space. There's Cody. Oh! Oh! What a goal. What a goal. What a goal. It's 3-0 to psv there's vinicius look at him linking up there's no need the inverted winger plays it to the other inverted winger and he just thinks it. it's a nice little ding 3-0 to psv i mean that was an absolute smashing goal 54 percent of the ball so far so that number is slowly in oh, it's just dropped it's just dropped to 53 i was just about to say it's, it's slowly increasing but is it <laughs> here's tadic now i want this clean sheet tagalia fico Receives the ball again. Danilo Pereira. Oh, we've given away a penalty. I just said I want a clean sheet. I just said I wanted a clean sheet. Ah, oh, penalty awarded. Keeper. Keeper. Oh, it's Tadic. Yeah, we've got no chance. We've got no chance of saving this. Tadic. What a pen. 
What a pen. Get out. Get off my face. There's Rene Vermin. Look at the snow build up again. This is what I want to see. Oh, I was going to say snow build up, but it's gone to Vinicius. He should be scoring. He should be scoring. That should be four. And you can see the pass is completed as well. It's now at 92%. He's looking for Tadic, but Teze cuts that out. Here's Noni now. Zahavi. So you can see there's nothing. We're not rushing things. Carlos. Oh, that should be four. <laughs> you can see here. We're not rushing things. Everything is slow. When that ball is on to play that key pass, then we, then we can hit it. But we're not going to force it. We're not going to rush it. We're not losing possession because of it as well. As you can see, for the pass is completed at 92%. And that, oh, I was going to say that wraps up the game. But Philip Max is going to swing one in here. Cody Gapo. Carlos. They could have been on a receiving end of an absolute wallop in there. Her shores, that's poor. Max Ginkle, look, when that ball's on, we play it. Ah, oh, Fred, where's the fan ball? This keeper all of a sudden turns into Spider Man. Tadic is going to get booked here. Oh, it's red! La 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 la. La 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 la. Goodbye. <laughs> and that wraps up that game. PSV 3. Ajax 1. We absolutely just, we torn them apart. Honestly, we torn them apart. But that wraps up that game there. Now we're going to load up the Sporting save and have, what is this game doing? It's just spazzing out. So we're going to have a look at the Sporting save now where we just done half a season and we're also going to play a game there. So let's load up that game. So here we are at Sporting as well. As you can see, oh, 16, not 17. So we've won 16 out of 16. We've only conceded nine. Again, we're just going to go through this very, very quickly. Most possession so far, Sporting 63%. The next team's on 58. So there's a big gap there. There's a 5% gap there. For the best pass completion, you can see as well, Sporting with 92%. For the passes completed, I'm not actually sure who's completed the most passes. I haven't checked that. But... Did I need to? Sporting. By some distance as well. So we're going to load up this game. We're playing Morienze. So it's a nice and easy home game. And maybe you can see more of the method, more of the tactic play out in this game, which is why I chose this game. Now for the passing directness, we can use shorter as well because we're playing a nice and easy game here. So let's load up this game. Come on, Sporting. Hey, hey, hey. Game started off. I mean, look, 59% this game started off. Jesus, Sporting are playing some beautiful stuff. Here comes a corner. Ah, oh, we've hit the bar. We have hit the bar. 13 minutes in and Sporting 60% of the ball so far. I mean, Morienze, their body language is not looking nice, is it? Let's demand more. Let's give this boys a shout. Great tackle there. There's Jao Palina race now. Nuno Santos, who's a special player on this game. If you have the opportunity to sign Nuno, sign Nuno. There's Reese now. Mateus plays the ball. I mean, he's forced that. He shouldn't have. Alice, a penny. It looks like it's going to be a penalty. Paulino was brought down by the set. Wow. What was brought down? <laughs> it was brought down. I mean, at Sporting, I mean, like, I'm guessing you guys can tweak it as well. You can kind of make him a wing back if you'd like. But at Sporting, what I really should have done is used him as the complete wing back because it's Pedro Porro. He's more. He's more up with it offensively. So what we can do is just switch these players around. Ball winner midfielder there. Put the box, 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 deep line midfielder there. So we're just going to switch these around. We might as well. Should we bother? No, we won't bother with the player instructions. We're just going to leave it actually for the playmaker. We're just going to add this here. And then there we go. Bob's your uncle. But it's Pablo Sareba with the penalty and he buries it. 1-0 to Sporting. Is this Kevin Morales playing in central midfield? Oh my days. I mean, it's a nice and easy penalty there by Pablo Sarabia. It's 1 0 to Sporting. Yes, yeah, save those tactical changes, please. So, look, we've been a far better side so far. 64% of the ball. Here's Mateus. But Jan Mateus cuts it out. Sebastian Cuartes intercepts Pedro Porro. Mafia Nunes. Pedro Gonchalves now. Paulino Parabia. Football at his best. Great shot. Blocked. Oh, another one blocked. It's just blocking. Blocking time. Here's Pedro Porro now advancing. Paulina. Nuno. We've got a nice rest defense here as well. Two defenders here with the holding midfielder there. The left back also didn't advance very high as he didn't need to. How was only 1 0 here? I'm not exactly sure. Morienze hasn't even had a shot at goal yet. So, what we can actually do is, well, we're going to pause this. We're going to shout again. 
But from the attacking players, let's see what happens here. Confirm. I mean, look at the possession. It's almost at 70% now. Almost nothing has happened in this half, though. We have a highlight. Finally, Pablo, Steven Vittoria, Fabio Pacheco, Morales, Paulino, Jan Mateus. Oh, Royce gets it out. As Nuno plays a nice ball to Paulino. He should be holding up this ball. He does. He plays in Pedro, who plays in Sarabia. Pedro Porro now, Jao Paulina. Pedro, look at Pedro Porro trying to get further forward, but he receives the ball. He's going to go again. Yes, he is. He whips it. Nice. Chip the ball. Oh! That would have been a nice footballing goal, but Paulino just puts the ball wide. But we do have another highlight. Pedro Porro, Sarabia. Pedro. Paulina heads the ball over the bar. Here comes another highlight now. It's Jefferson. He plays it. Oh, he throws it. But we do... Put a tackle in. Nice ball. Oh, my God. That's, it's offside, but it's terrible finishing as well. There's a, there's a combination in this game of just terrible finishing and great defending. But that game's wrapped up. We had 70% of the ball. I'm not exactly sure how this only ended 1-0. It's an absolute rip-off. Absolute rip-off. But that there wraps up this video unfortunately i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i enjoyed recording it make sure you try out the tactic so if you did enjoy this video make sure you are subscribed like the video leave a comment as well that will help this channel also download pouch the browser extension is free you have no reason not to if you like to shop online like i do you will find some nice sales i mean look at this 30 pound off it's the authentic arsenal shirt as well let's look the authentic, authentic Arsenal shirt as well. So make sure you download Pouch. Don't forget to pin it to your browser as well. I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe. Peace out. One love.